Yo, it's Rom coming back at you with yet another car video. Chad be up in the gym. <laughs> you know what I found interesting? What I really found interesting. Because, of course, you know, you got the guys who are always talking about Chad and Tyrone and stuff. And even going against dudes to be up in the gym. Right? Being going against them, call them gym sales and stuff. It don't matter. They even say it, it don't even matter. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, damn, dude. <laughs> Apparently, they don't, they only look at Chad from the neck up. I'm like, you don't know who's the rest of Chad? <laughs> I'm saying that for two reasons. I'm talking about that for two reasons. Because one, I remember I saw um, this dude, young dude I know. People would definitely call him a Chad. In fact, that's the dude I always say, well, look like Zac Efron. Okay, you come in here, sweetie. All right, I'm going to come over here. All right. All right, man. Anyway, this dude, uh, one always say look like Zac Efron because we Facebook friends and, and stuff. And, you know, he's taking some pictures with his future wife, man. He's a good dude. He's a genuinely good dude. But, and I remember when women would go crazy over him talking about how good he looked and stuff. Okay, fair enough. What they didn't talk about, that dude be in the gym. Because me and him worked out together a couple times. That dude be throwing up about 300 pounds and all that. All right, so, okay, that was one thing. In fact, he had even recommended, he even, I did a video for him one time. I did a video for him. But then there's a... You know, I came to the gym. I was a little bit early today because I need to be home for some uh, work that has to be done around there for the repair people. And, you know, so I came to the gym early. And it, 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 it struck me because usually when I come to the gym, it's a little empty so I can just get my stuff down. It's a little bit more crowded. I was like, damn, it's like a Chad heaven up in here. You know? I'm, a bunch of those guys be talking about Chad and Tyrone. Shit, they be up there taking pictures. Probably be glowing on them and everything. They probably be like, oh, to Chad. Makes you wonder about them sometimes, but we're not going to go there today. But I was like, yeah, these dudes throwing up ways. These dudes ain't just sitting around looking pretty and shit. These motherfuckers sweating. I mean, cut like a motherfucker. You know, went throwing up 300 pounds. He was a tall old Chad and shit. He throwing up 300 pounds. Like, chill with 300. Usually, some people get 300. You know, they get a couple sets. Well, a couple reps. This dude was just like, we reached down, got his water, drank it while he's still pumping. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> but the problem, point is, though, I don't know how come dudes don't see that basic correlation. The dudes who they would label a Chad, they always work out, even if they slim, because even to be slim, you still got to work out. Like somebody on one of my, one of my video past videos talking about models and stuff. Shoot, models be working out like crazy. They got to work hard. People don't realize, they think the models are just some genetic anomalies and shit. I mean, they might have some raw material to start out with, but shoot, they got to hit the gym harder than the bodybuilders, really. Because, and then they got to be disciplined as shit eating. Let me say that again. They got to be disciplined and shit. See, I'm going to tell you something now. People think when somebody look a certain way, they just born like that. And they might have the genetic, raw genetic material, but they had to work with it. If you look at all those guys you call Chad or Tyrone, Chang, Enrique, whatever name, other names you use, and say, what, what kind of ball did you play? They'll say, oh, yeah, I played football. Oh, I played soccer. Oh, I played basketball. They always, it's rare that they're not a jock. And if they if they are jock, the thing is you gotta work. Anybody who's played varsity, any sport, I don't care what the sport is, anybody who's played any varsity ball, high school, college, or even just continue beyond that rec league and the pros that don't goes without speaking, man. You gotta work for that shit. You gotta work. In fact, if you see uh you talk to a lot of uh male exotic dancers and gigolos and stuff like that they work for it and my point is the guys they calling that they ain't just pop up like that even if they had just a basic you know they might have had a basic bone structure you still got to work for it and be disciplined 
Because I'm going to tell you what, even with the bone structure, if say someone doesn't really work out and they just put on weight and stuff, that could be buried. Like you, you got some dudes who probably got a strong jawline, but it's buried under fat. People don't realize fat's around the face and everything too. Fat's around there. And then um, depending on uh, even something as simple as your teeth, if your teeth ain't up or you lose teeth a certain way, you start chewing a certain way, that affects it. Like all of that's affected, so it's still you got to do all of that, and you still got you still got to let the barber bless you. And there's a lot of stuff, and still do some stuff to keep your skin clear. It's it's a lot of work, and that's my point ultimately. And they work it because you got a lot of guys out there thinking they ain't all that. They just need to do a little bit of work, you know. They need to hit the gyms and stuff. You know, cut their hair right. Do something uh, for their skin and everything. Make sure if they got, like, acne or anything like that, fix their teeth. You know? Because if uh, you look at anybody, like, it's it, like somebody who can just pop out. They don't have to do any work. I don't care. And we can bring in females because, like, a lot of dudes. Like, recently on a, a private site, we, uh, Cousin Tito, he did a... Uh, webinar I hosted he presented uh talking about dimes they work hard they work hard and that's just the nature of it you see anybody like uh like a lot of times people use the example of these movie stars or these models people don't see how hard they be in the gym or how disciplined they are they like seriously count calories you know and my point with saying all that is a lot, there's a lot of dudes out there who could probably be in the same category if they just did the work. And I've actually seen it. I've actually seen it being somebody who's worked in gyms. I've actually seen progress. I've seen people progress. Indeed, that dude I say look like Zach Efron. In fact, I should I should hit him up see if he want to do a video with me. And actually, he's gotten older. He don't look as much now. He don't look as much now, but ask him if he want to do but he had showed me some pictures of him when he was in high school even though he played football he was kind of scrawny he wasn't like buff like he is now but the thing is he did the work and that's the main thing and that's why i always say do the work if y'all listen anybody listen to me anybody follow me what do i always say do the work do the work i mean it'd be nice if you could just pop out that way but nobody pops out that way Nobody pops out that way. Everybody, especially men, especially if you're a man, it's actually better if you did the work because you got control over it. Now, I know some guys say, well, I ain't that tall. I make this, ain't that. Well, nobody perfect, bro. Everybody got to work. Everybody just work with the best you can. See what you can get. That's all you can really do. You know? That's why, you know, if you look at some other stuff, even when I'm not talking body game, just life, period. I'm saying, well, you get what you work for. And anybody can do that work. Anybody. You know? Like, I've had some people compl uh, compliment me. They say, well, oh, shit, you're pretty athletic, boy. You know, got a nice body build for an older guy. I'm like, well, shit, just coming out the gym, just doing that work. Shit. In fact, uh, I was doing my uh, crunches and stuff, and, you know, had a little mat. There was a guy. Over next to me, older guy too. He said, "Man, it sucks getting old, don't it?" I was like, "Yeah, but we gotta do that work anyway." And that same dude, I seen him throwing up three hundred pounds, but he was willing to do the work, and that—that's the key. That's the key. That's why I even brought up the old Chad thing. They act like too many dudes act like these dudes just pop up that way. It's like no, they be doing. It. Even um, when dudes want to talk about other dudes, like uh, other dudes like uh, Pookie and Ray Ray. Or some of these guys be in prison and shit. They be killing the weight pile. They don't got nothing else to do. They be, but they be killing that weight pile. You know, that's why I always push that shit. You gotta have, you gotta have both. Because even if your face, because one thing about women too, they'll find shit to look for in your face. So you can fix that too. But you can definitely fix your body. Like on your face, you might have to beard up or, you know, get that haircut. You know, work out. I mean, you can work out to the point to get your uh, jaw as chiseled as you can. You know, if, if that's the thing. But I'm going to tell you, look, let me be raw with it. Let me be raw. I was trying to be nice about it, but a lot of dudes just lazy. 
I mean, that's all too. A lot of dudes just lazy and they want to complain. But the reality in life, life is vicious. Life don't give you nothing. Nobody gets anything. Nobody. If you want something, you got to do it. You got to work it. You know? You want that woman to be turned on by your body, your appearance. Shit, you got to just work it. It's in your power. That's all to it. It's in, it's in your power. No ifs, ands, and buts. Because I'm going to be real. I'd rather it be in my power. Shit. I'd rather know I'm going to get my dick sucked. Instead of up there be like, oh, I'm this and that shit. I know some nice biceps to get my dick sucked. What the fuck am I going to do? Get some biceps. I'm just saying. I'm just going to put it raw like that. <laughs> fuck the bullshit. <laughs> fuck the bullshit. So. <sighs> Let me see my baby up. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay, back. <sighs> Look at my hood. But anyway, yo. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll wait till I get out the sunlight. You, you know, you'd be like, damn, Rob just disappeared in the sunlight and everything. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, and I'm actually a little tired coming out the gym and everything. See, people don't realize I do like a lot of my, my most of my recording on Mondays. So I, I, I already been, I've been up since about 2.30. I done recorded about six videos for the week plus a new series for rom tv shadow reports oh yeah that's coming rom tv so yeah so i'm a little tired so anyway y'all that's it for now y'all and get back with you peace and blessings